Pisces. So I hope at this point, by bonus three, you're okay with me skipping a bit of the intro bit because I would like to give you a good solid reading on top of this because, you know, so far I have that you need to stand tall, you need to own who you are, let your sun shine, take the moment that you have, seize the day, I want to say, um, but then seize the night because then you have the great one of the night of time and the universe on your side telling you that you are pro protected. You just need to stand tall, own who you are, and let go of your fear. Maybe you just need to face it. Find out it's not as bad as you think it is. The only thing to, f you know, to fear is fear itself kind of thing. All right, so highest good of everyone involved. This is also May 11th, 2016, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. Help you gain clarity in your life. See how this resonates with you, Pisces. This is the, um, I don't even know why I grabbed this. I just grabbed it for you. So this is the, <laughs> this is the, um, Enchanted Tarot, Pisces. Bye. <laughs> All right, hold on. All right, I still have your cards here. I still have the Elk, the Zebra, and the Universe. So let's see what we have to give more clarity. Ooh, the moon. The moon. I see a theme here. Alright, we're going to pull from another deck. So you have the sun, you have the moon, you have the universe, it's all on your side. What are you worried about? <laughs> you know? What are you worried about? In the dark, you're good. In the light, you're good. Um, this is so pretty. Look at how pretty this little universe, this, this moon card is. You know, it's like... It's like a little storybook. It's like patchwork. It's like uh, embroidery work put into a collage with some old cutouts of like old postcards and made in, in like some like fabrics and lace. I felt like this was three dimensional when I saw the pictures of it, which is why I got this card. These cards. Um, this was my first set of tarot cards here. This was my second. <laughs> um, the moon is, looks like it has a smiling face. She's smiling, but she's crying. I feel like that's a song somewhere, like the tracks of my tears. Uh, maybe that's a good song for you, Pisces. Um, Small looks sad a place. Direction. I can't. I can't get it. I can't get it. But maybe you, you have it. <laughs> maybe I'll find a link and eventually put that below. And there's this girl, and she's just like looking up in the moon, and she's got this cute little like poodle dog by her. Looks like it's a poodle mix. And there's this beautiful castle kingdom, and she's not in it. Maybe she's trying to get there. She can't quite see. It's raining because the moon is raining, but then the sunshine, the moon has this like blue, beautiful flower around it. The promise that the sun will come out. Where is your sun? Where was your sun? Oh yeah, it was this deck. I don't know where it is, and I don't want to grab cards because I'll look at it. Oh, it's probably here. Yes, it's here. It's here for you. Your sun is just waiting for you. So... Pisces, even if it's your moon right now. You got the sun and the moon mirroring each other. This is also your yin and your yang, your day and your night. You're protected by this double-headed eagle of the universe in your day and your night. Your dark, your dark times, your light times. The shadows and what comes out of the shadows. So what is that telling you to trust your intuition, Pisces, to when the sun doesn't shine on something and you don't see it with your eyes and it's not in front of you to go in here, go in here and then um, do the double check out here. Or if it's your way, go out here and do the double check in here, but do the, do the both, you know, the emotions is the 
this is so you have a progression. You have an 18, and you have a 19, and then a 21. So you combining the sun and the moon is giving you completion and why you're here. So maybe you had to go through a night or nights or the night, you know, of a soul kind of thing to find your sunshine. Maybe you had some tears, Pisces. I'm sure you did. Pisces, if you didn't have tears, I'm sure you felt it. Um, Pisces feels. They're naked. I was saying they're naked in the water. So you're naked feeling your emotions. And I guess if your son would be Pisces, you're here to learn how to deal with that. To deal with the navigating of your emotions, especially if they're in the dark. And bringing that to light and how you guide yourself in your light, in your in your life, in your day, you know. Um, whereas, uh, if it was a Pisces moon, this would be your emotional filter, you know, before the thought process jumped in and you were learning your lessons, but how you emotionally dealt with it, which is probably pretty intense if you're a Pisces moon. If you're a Pisces moon, and that's pretty intense. So... Maybe you need to look at what your sun is, if you're Pisces moon, and uh, see that as your lesson. If you're a Pisces sun, maybe you need to look at what your moon sign is as your particular lesson uh, to give you the strength behind how to guide and navigate your emotions that drive your boat. You know if this is where you're going and the lessons you're learning and then your rising or ascendant sign is like where you've been already your past lives your past lessons your your driver your autopilot so to speak you know where where you've already been you're kind of already good good and learn your lessons from a bit so it's sort of already a little more in tune with those lessons and knows it a bit better better innately in your soul so you're here, you know, you could have a double whammy, you could be like a Pisces Pisces, in which you are an extreme version. So maybe you do have reason to look at your moon, because it's different. I just totally uh, put out an astrology thing on you guys, so if you're not into astrology and you don't know what I'm talking about at all, um, maybe that's, uh, if that draws you to look, look. But you also, I just see the progression, I see. 18 and the 19. Let's see what we have. This is the uh, Gilded Tarot for Pisces this week. Gilded, one card. Bring clarity to the moon, sun, and the universe. Chariot. I'm going to pull one oracle card. Um, I have so many piles around me at this point. Um, here. These are on top of the pile I just put down. So, this is, I think, the one I used in your first reading. So, we'll go back to this. We'll, we'll go back to the beginning for the ending. And the ending for the beginning, Pisces. One card for Pisces. The chariot is victory. This is your victory. This is victorious. This is you taking the dark side of you and the light side of you, like I said, the day and the night to Pisces, and sitting on that shit, taking the reins and riding it to where you want to go. This one is going straight. It's not even, you have the Sphinx. So you have, a, kind of looks like me. So you have like this, and then she has the sunshine above her, right? She's riding this golden chariot. She's got badass like hair jewelry like I like. Good job, good job, liking it purple, beautiful satin gown, emeralds in her base here, giving her like this energy. There's silver, there's gold. Uh, it's either lapis or um, um, sapphires. And she's chilling. She's not even having a hard time in this card. So you're not going to even have a hard time, Pisces, driving your chariot at all. 
You're gonna kind of chill on this shit. This card's so relaxed and awesome, and I don't feel like this is like a take of the reins, gotta go kind of chariot for you. I feel like this is like you, Pisces. This feels like you, like kind of chill and awesome. Kind of just grooving in the waves of however you need to go. You can feel and do it, move and be it. Maybe you're doing it. Maybe you're moving. Moving into your victory. You decided to grab your reins and maybe take a chill pill on the way instead of like rushing into victory. You know, maybe you're enjoying a ride, Pisces. This is good. Did I even pull a card? I don't think I did. I didn't. I got sidetracked by the beautiful chariot card in front of me. I never even looked at that like that. It's it's healing. It's spiritual. She's like looking up like, you know what? I'm riding my chariot. What? I know you want to get on. I mean, she's like looking to her side like, come on, I know you want to get on here with me. Kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, look at her body language. She's not sure. She's not sure if she wants someone to get in or not because her knees are actually turned the other way. So there's an unsureness about maybe somebody getting in the chariot with you. Maybe that's, maybe that's the part that's the moon. Or maybe that's what you have to st stand tall against. Maybe you need to choose who's coming in your chariot with you. Because she's looking this way and she's like, mm, not sure. <laughs> Of that. Let's see what that means. Either way, it's your chariot, Pisces, and you're riding it, so you can let in to who, your chariot whomever you choose. I have a really awesome surprise being put in my car, so whoever has inherited the, the passenger seat of that has just gotten literally the coolest job in the entire world. I just have to say that my sister is actually jealous of what I'm getting. I can't spoil it now, but maybe in the future that will be a video to come. Pisces, what do we have? What is this? A place like home, Pisces. Home is where the heart is. I think of like the ruby slippers. Click in your heels. If you could close your eyes right now, Pisces, and click your heels. And say there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Where would it be? Who would it be with? Why would you be there? Are you there now? Why aren't you there now? Should you go there now? Should you go back there now? Is Do you need to go to it? Is it coming to you? How does your chariot get you home? Home here is just hanging on this little light post. And the light is waiting for you to come in. It's warm and cozy inside and there's like sparkly fairy dust coming out of it. There's also a moon and a feminine energy here. Purple flowers all over the, all over the um, lawn. Purple skies, magenta skies, and safety. You're safe here. So that's here. So, Pisces, you have such a beautiful reading. I'm so grateful to, the, to end this on you as much as work as I put in all day. I hope you find your way to your heart, to your home, to that place that makes you feel safe, even if it's for a moment, even if it's in here. That peace. Where do you need to go to find peace to make your way home? Who do you need to hug when you get there and tell them, I love you, thank you. Thank you for making me feel like I am home and I am loved for being me and who I am. And if this is you wanting to offer that to somebody else, get on your chariot and do it. Do it even if it's your home for a million years. Go back riding, riding like you've never gone riding home before and give the hug of your life. Sign shine like the sunshine you are tap into that beautiful spiritual creative intuitive sensitive side of you and love it stand tall get the respect you freaking deserve